Now in this case, the radius is changing similarly for the radius of gyration also we are taking k dash by r dash whole square to be taken. And for that, mgr is here that is mgr and minus m dash, m dash is equal to m by 4 is here and small g, r dash is nothing but r by 2, r dash is the r by 2 and thereafter it is a 1 by 2, m dash means m by 4 and v square is here and thereafter 1 plus k dash by r dash means again it will be for the solid cylinder, this is nothing but a solid cylinder. So, in this case, it is a k square by r square just similar to that of the solid disk. So, that is why 1 by 2 will come. So, 1 by 2 will be here. So, once again I tell you, it is the general formula what we have to take. It is m dash m k square m dash k dash square is equal to in case of the solid cylinder about its natural axis about its natural axis its formula is m r square by 2. So, it is m dash r dash square by 2. So, because of that reason k dash by r dash whole square is equal to it becomes uh, 1 by 2 will be here. That 1 by 2 is applied now here. So, that 1 by 2 is taken here. So, that is why it is mgr minus mgr by 8 means 7 by 8 mgr. It is 7 by 8 mgr and thereafter it is mv square by 8 m v square by 8 and it is 3 by 2, 3 by 2 is here. Now, here you are supposed to find out the v square only. So, now first it is taken that is 8 is cancelled. So, it becomes it is a 7 by 3, 7 by 3, 14 by 3, 14 by 3 is here and m will be cancelled and g r is also there and it is v square implies v is equal to square root of 14 g r by 3. v is equal to square root of 14 g r by 3 like this. Now, once again I tell you. So, first of all, it is a solid cylinder. It is a carpet which is considered to be a solid cylinder and for its initial position that becomes m dash is equal to m is equal to density into volume. We are getting this one. And this is the next state of this solid cylinder. In this case, it is becoming r by 2 and definitely the mass is also going to be changed. So, that is why m dash. We are getting that relation between m and m dash. This is the simple steps. m dash is equal to m by 4. And here that the concept is it is application of a conservation of energy. So, that according to that conservation of energy, loss of P e is equal to gain of K e. Loss of P e is equal to gain of K e and initially it is mgr and thereafter it is m dash g r dash m dash g r dash is here now it is a gain of ke means 1 by 2 m dash v square and it is a 1 plus k dash by r dash whole square is here so mgr minus mgr by 8 that becomes 7 by 8 mgr and thereafter it is m dash in place of that m by 4 v square and k dash by r dash whole square is nothing but 1 by 2. It is just similar to that of the k square by r square of a solid cylinder. So, k dash by r dash square is equal to 1 by 2 is here. So, it will be 3 by 2. Now, we are cancelling this m and thereafter it is uh, 2, uh, 8 will be cancelled. So, it will be 14 and 3 comes here gr is there v is equal to square root of 14 gr by 3. So, this is uh, one problem is completed here like this. So, it is a slightly difficult when compared to that of uh, previous problems it is slightly difficult. Now, we come to this uh, another multi constitutional problem based on that kinematics also, but here that will be continued in that next class only that will be continued in that next class. <coughs> so, in the next class after solving uh, two or three problems based on this. Uh, now, uh, the next topic will be that is the last phase of this rotatory motion will be pure rolling. So, that is the last uh, that is a pure rolling. Now, here uh, that uh, problem based on that multi constitute also now we can uh, complete that. So, here it is uh, given a carpet of uh, mass m that is uh, completed and thereafter it is a small sphere rolls down without uh, slipping from the top of a track in a vertical plane. The track has an elevated section and a horizontal part, elevated section and a horizontal part. 
So in this case you are given like this. We complete that problem also. We complete that problem also. In the next class we can deal that that is uh, purely. So now here a small sphere rolls down, rolls down without slipping uh, the track of a vertical plane. The track has an elevated section. So in this case you are given this figure. One is here and another one is here like this. So it is 2.4 meters and it will be 1 meter. So a small sphere. So this is the given data 2.4 meter and again the 1 meter and here you are given a small sphere rolls down without slipping from the top of a track in a vertical plane. The track has an elevated section in the horizontal part. The horizontal part is 1 meter above the ground level and the top of the track is 2.4 meters above the ground. Find the distance on the ground with respect to the point B where the sphere lands, where that sphere lands. So that is why here we are taking A, B is here where the sphere lands means it will be like this. It is multi constitutional. That is why here you have to apply the formula which is concerned to that of uh, kinematics also. Kinematics also. Kinematics when your body is uh, projected horizontally from the top of a tower, what is the formula that you are applying there? That formula also is required here now. Now first of all, when it is uh, coming down like this, we have to find out this velocity. How to find out that velocity? It is simple an application of conservation of energy. So that according to that conservation of energy, loss of PE, loss of PE is equal to gain of KE of that rolling body. That rolling body is nothing but a small sphere. So that loss of PE is mg and again here it is h1 we can consider this will be the h2. So it is h1 minus h2 h1 minus h2 is here. So it is mg of h1 minus h2 and gain of ke means you are given its value is of mv square of 1 plus k square by r square is there because it is rolling. It is not the translatory motion. It is not uh, rotatory motion. It is a rolling kinetic energy. So that is why of mv square of 1 plus k square by r square. Here first of all we can delete that uh, m and g is here and h1 minus h2 it is 2.4 minus 1 is here and thereafter it will be 1 by 2 and v square and here it is 1 plus k square by r square means here you are taking a small sphere. Small sphere means it is nothing but k square by r square is the 2 by 3, 2 by 5. So that is why 2 by 5 is here. So it becomes a 7 by 5. 7 by 5 means 7 v square by 10. So it is a 7 by 5, 7 v square by 10. And this is taken a 9.8 and it will be 2.4 minus 1, it can be taken 1.4. So implies v square is equal to v square is equal to that is taken 98 v square is equal to 98 and again 1.4 and thereafter by 7 is here and v is equal to under root under root 98 1.4 means this will be taken uh, some around once again i tell you it is a 9.8 is there and again it is 1.4 7 v square by 10 so it becomes a 98 and again the 1.4 by 7 it becomes a 0 0.2 0 0.2 so it will be 19.6 so 0 0.2 so that is why it will be 19.6 under root this is the velocity this velocity is here and loss of pe is equal to gain of ke mg of h1 minus h2 is this much and g of 2.4 minus 1 of v square and 1 plus 2 by 5 you are getting this value and v square is equal to in the cross multiplication you are getting and v is equal to so 0 0.2 is here and it becomes 196 and again 19.6 is here this is the v value after getting this value now with this value it is a falling down like this it is a falling down like this and you are supposed to find out this distance r that is the range for this body which is presented horizontally from this top of the tower and for this that is uh, r is equal to v into t v into t means v just now we got it its value is root 19.6 is here that is the first equation 
and T is a horizontally presented body in vertical direction it is nothing but a freely falling body. A horizontally presented body in a vertical direction it is nothing but a freely falling body. So that is why this the V is a square root of 19.6 is here and T is a square root of 2 H by G. Because for the freely falling body, for the freely falling body and the time taken to reach the ground level is a square root of 2 H by G and here that H is nothing but H2. H is nothing but so that is why square root of 19.6 is here and square root of 2 H2 is 1 meter and G is 9.8 then it gives 2 meters that will be the range because here it is square root of 19.6 into 2 by 9.8. So, that is why uh, square root of 2 into 2 will be there. So, that is uh, 2 meters. That range is 2 meters. Thank you very much. Next class we will continue.